Welcome to Pre-Math. In this video tutorial, we have got a trapezoid ABCD such that uh, this diagonal AC is 19, this other diagonal BD is 15, and moreover, this angle C is 45 degrees, and these two angles A and B are right angles. And now we are going to calculate the area of this trapezoid ABCD. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up to this video. So let's go ahead and get started with the solution. And here's the definition of a trapezoid. It is a four-sided flat shape that has a pair of parallel sides. Here's the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to A plus B times H divided by 2. And here's our very first step. Let's go ahead and label this trapezoid. Let me call this side BC as a lowercase a, this AD as a lowercase b, and AB as our height h. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this triangle ABC. And we know that this triangle is a right triangle. Therefore, we are going to use the Pythagorean theorem. And here's our Pythagorean theorem, a square plus b square equal to c square. And here our longest leg is this side is c. Let's go ahead and apply this Pythagorean theorem on this triangle. So we can write this one as a square plus h square equal to, in our case, this side c is 19 so I can just put it 19 square so this could be simplified as a square plus h square equal to 361 now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number one and now let's focus on the other triangle ABD and we know that this uh, triangle is uh, right triangle as well so therefore we are going to use the pythagorean theorem this time once again and uh, as we can see in this triangle our longest leg uh, this c is 15 so let's go ahead and apply the pythagorean theorem so that is going to give us uh, b square plus uh, h square equal to 15 square so this could be simplified as b square plus uh, h square turns out to be 225 and now let me go ahead and call this equation as number two and in this next step we are going to subtract uh, equations one minus two here's our equation one and here's our equation two and here I have copied down equations 1 and 2. Let's go ahead and subtract. Let me go ahead and change the sign. Negative, negative, negative. This h square and negative h square, they are gone. So we simply ended up with a square minus b square equal to 361 minus 225 is going to give us 100 and 36 and now let's recall this difference of two squares a square minus b square could be written as a minus b times a plus b so our this equation is going to become simply a plus b times a minus b equal to 136 and now let me go ahead and call this equation as equation number three and here's our next step. Let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular from this point D onto this uh, line BC. Let's go ahead and draw a perpendicular. That means it's going to be a 90 degrees angle. And here's our much nicer looking diagram. And therefore, we are going to get this uh, triangle CED as a right triangle. And now we can see that this whole length BC is A and this side length, this one is simply B. Then this side length EC is going to be simply A minus B. 
So therefore, our this uh, side length EC turns out to be A minus B. And here's our next step. Let's focus on this right triangle CED. Now we know that the sum of the angles in this triangle is going to be 180 degrees. This is 90 degrees. This is 45 degrees. So this angle has got to be 45 degrees as well. So therefore we conclude that this triangle CED is an isosceles triangle. So therefore this side length equal to this side length. So if this side length EC is A minus B, then this side length ED is going to be A minus B as well. So therefore our side length ED turns out to be A minus B. But we know that this ED is the height of this trapezoid which is H. So this ED is H. So therefore we can write as H equals to A minus B. And let me go ahead and call this as equation number 4. And here's our final step. Let's consider this equation 3. And here I have copied down A plus B times A minus B equals to 136. And let's focus on this A minus B part. And we know from equation 4, A minus B equals to H. So therefore, we can write this equation as A plus B times H equal to 136. And now let's recall once again the area of a trapezoid formula. Area equals to A plus B times H. And we know that this A plus B times H is 136. So thus the area of this trapezoid A, B, C, D is going to be simply I can write area equals to I can write this A plus B times H is 136 and then divided by this 2 so area simply turns out to be 68 square units. So thus the area of this trapezoid A, B, C, D turns out to be 68 square units. And that's our final answer. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.